Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with less hit points, less equipment, less classes available and of course the Advanced Better Advent or ABA uh, A Better Advent is uh, the name of the mod. And today we are in South Africa with Operation Half Eaten Days. Protect the device, which is still fine since it's relatively early in the game, and I wanted to have that engineer. Plus, we have location scout, that is always an advantage, i.e. we will know everything that is happening on the map. Perfect. We will bring Jessica Jones Rabbit, Wurtz and Reckoner from the A-Team, and Zukuger as well as Zirkim as replacements. So far, so good. I can buy into that. I am wondering if we really need that shotgun. Well, so far it worked well, so might as well keep it up. We do have a breakthrough with the assault rifles, and thus they are do uh, dealing as much damage as the shotguns, so might as well go for assault rifles as the game goes on. Alright, fantastic. So, what I was about to uh, say is, we're nearing kind of that mid-game soon-ish. And the one thing that definitely uh, struck me so far is we have not yet used a lot of the underutilized items because our research path has really just majorly, uh, majorly been a couple of breakthroughs and so on. So I will go for more autopsies and also definitely build a couple more items that round up the crew. What is a new sector? Not sure what you are, buddy, but uh, that looks interesting. Triple sectored. One of them has more hit points, so I wonder. Stronger advent as well. Lots of sectors. Holy shit. Okay. Well, it is what it is. I would say we're taking the high ground here. And we'll eventually ta uh, take it from there. Jessica Jones definitely... ...correctly positioned there. At the same time... This here might already trigger. So I'll be careful. Sukuger also moves up there. And Zirke moves as far as we can. Overwatch. Interestingly enough, those guys seem to have triggered already. 27 hit points left on the uh, on the device. All right, and the losts are moving into our direction or are they actually going for them? Holy crap, why are they approaching us when they've been just shot by the Advents? Uh, gotta understand that logic. Well, at least they are getting a bit closer. Jessica Jones here. Might take a couple of free kills. Between the Eyes would be a fantastic mod if we were to get it. Alright. Zukuger moves all the way over here. And let's make sure that guy goes down. We know the next pack is over there. 
so far we're okay. We could move all the way to here and aggressively take the middle and I think that's what we're going to do. trigger oh my gosh moving to position all right let's kill the lost Good, one down. Two down. Reload. I think we can overwatch. Hilarious. Hilarious that we are not even seeing them. Overwatch. Jessica definitely overwatches. I'm on it. And this finally triggers. What a farce. They were just standing there waiting to be triggered. Thank you, the Viper certainly knows how to trigger, uh, how to evade. So 23 hit points on the device, those three jokesters are running around, that is fine. And this could be a nice start, to be honest. Might as well reload to be action efficient. And this should take all of uh, the cover away. Did I? Oh my gosh. That is by far the most stupid <laughs> misclick that has ever happened. The fuck is wrong with you, Saiken? Okay, we gave them ample chances. Mainly because we felt like it would be a good idea. Let them hide in in fog. But that's okay. Believe it or not, maybe that could work out to our advantage. I know it is hard to believe at this point. But hear me out. Maybe, just maybe, we're going to move into that position soon. And then... We will have the cover. I'm the first one to admit that that was a poor play. I am not used to smoke grenades. Wow. And, to be honest, I mean, that's bad on so many levels. Don't even know where to start. Gotta be careful not to trigger those guys. Mm. 
There is another pack over here, but we should be fine. Well, I guess on the upside we still have the grenade. I guess we still have the grenade. Of course, guys, that was all planned. Got it. Move it. Believe me, it was part of that juicy, juicy, delicious master plan. Alright, so that triggered, which is fine. It's not the end of the world. Jessica moves over. And reloads. Okay, we got to get a bit further ahead. Those guys will not trigger. An optimal scenario we're having a couple of losts that we can trigger. That way they are plenty busy and will leave us alone. There we go. That's Lost Swarm far enough away from us to not harm us. At the same time in the middle of them, hopefully harming them. Okay, the dasher could harm us, but yeah. Luckily, we're okay. Overwatching. And yeah, now he's cleaning up, which is fine by me, I suppose. We're down to 18 hit points. Sector, it doesn't take no for an answer. Nice, perfect. Just remove the cover. And it seems a couple more losts are coming in. Wow, can't believe that I did that. Um, Smoke grenade play. Oh my lord. X comet its finest. Alright, a couple of them are dying. Enemy eliminated. Okay. Well then. Time to get this one here going.
quite a few losses left and right. See, and now we have that ingenious setup, right? Where we're essentially in the car On the move. and also in the smoke. How great is that? I really don't want to make you believe that that was planned. I'm just trying to salvage the situation. That's what you get from not paying 100% attention to your grenades. Alright, Jessica. Definitely will try to kill the... Advent. Nice little shot. Death from above. Means that Jessica can move up. And we do have a good line of sight from up here, so... I almost do not want to move, but at the same time... Her shooting angle soon will not be that great anymore. Time to get rid of the sector. And that advanced trooper. Nice little hit. Let's just pull him out of there. There we go. Time for a small reposition. I ground up here. And we might be able to even kill some more of these guys. Okay, fair enough. My weapon is nearly empty. All right, 16 hit points left. It'll take a while until this guy even gets to us. Okay. It's killing time. Well, let's kill one. And I think we do have Implaceable, right? Fantastic. That means we can keep the momentum. Zukuger has a nice position up here. Perfect. Good. up and 
Jessica takes another high ground. We are reloading and we're now in a comfortable position. Wards reloads as well. And we're down to 11. Gotta be mindful now. An early engagement here will make a lot of sense. Let's get rid of the entire wall. This should be line of sight. Yeah, I was about to say. That isn't line of sight, I don't know what is. That's unfortunate. Actually, not a lot of follow-up that we could offer. He could move into here and flank us, which I really don't want to happen. So Wurtz gets another 8 pro call. charging down all right wonderful there is the potential flank I was talking about luckily we could dodge and there is another hit To deal with an entire lost swarm that thankfully just spawns right next to us. Not good. Where is Bladestorm when you need it? Good. Starting to really kill those guys one by one. will eventually kill him all right so that's not enough to kill him you could take some high ground but none of that is useful Alright, 
one down. But unplaceable, which is fantastic. I'm on it. Free movement over here. Sniper rifle. That'll be a hundred percent kill. Reloading. On the move. Taking the high ground and now we gotta be a bit clever here. That's a hundred percent kill. That's an eventual kill. Reloading, okay. Gotta deal with the loss as well. Can't just let them be. That was unfortunate. I figured it might happen. is not triggering anything and we have enough hit points to take a hit or two okay with that we can't kill that guy but we could move far enough away so that he becomes irrelevant for now And an overwatch. Okay, we should be fine. The device might be in trouble, though. Alright, Jessica is cleaning those guys up. Good, done deal. Okay, we're triggering the last pack. What are we dealing with? Puppeteer? Sounds like one of the guys that is reanimating quite a bit. Alright, we could suppress one of them. He is susceptible for melee attacks. Might as well use that to our advantage. I would love to grapple anywhere up here. I will go in next round because then we can grapple and get into position. For now it is too dangerous. But we can kill these sectored. Just 
Well, the good news is we at least are dealing damage. Good, Jessica moves over. We will need her in a better position next turn. I would assume we're getting one mind spin and one attack onto the onto the target. Okay, hunker down. Well, not too bad. I mean, all, all things considered, it's actually fine. No respite for the dead. The aliens have found a way to mind control them now. Okay, so as I was saying, we wanted to go in. That was a miss. Which is unfortunate. Back in. Reloading and let's mark that target again. That's some decent damage. Jessica here will be able to kill him. There we go, that's two for one. Right, and we're overwatching. Sector takes quite a bit of damage. And more zombies. Damn it, this is quite a zombie apocalypse map. up marking the sector again Enemy still up. On reserve. and that's a hundred percent slash and hopefully a kill Enemy destroyed. all right again two for one um, that worked well Wow, yet another swarm. I was hoping there wouldn't be one more. We our well, we all got it, already got a promotion on the skirmisher. Might as well take a look. What else is gonna do, uh, gonna work out? Anyone else might get another promotion here. Be nice. Let's do this. Negative ammo. I'm spent. If Wards, for instance, could get that promotion. Own. Makes a pretty good case for herself. That's it. I'm out. Let's rock. Target neutralized. 
Jessica, of course, would be a great case for a promotion as well. Alright, Dasher gets softed up. We've reached that kind of level where the loss begin to be less of a problem, luckily. All right, let's get over there and hopefully kill the remaining lost. They eventually will find their way back. And we, of course, are missing. So Cougar moves in. And that's it. Status confirmed. Fantastic. I still can't get over my blunder with the smoke bomb. I mean, it it didn't do anything at the end of the day. But it was hilarious and stupid at the same time. Alright, Reckoner. Whiplash, fantastic. Full throttle, not so much, but okay. I guess that's what we're getting. We could get tactical rigging, which on the other hand is actually quite good so having that will be super helpful I will get that next so Hooker in the meantime gets Haywire protocol and Zirkim here gets Phantom okie dokie so let's wait for the mid game guys because in the mid game we can hopefully use all of those fantastic items that are underutilized. Maximum power Can't yet build the GTM, the proving grounds, which we would need. Nope, we're not getting, uh, we're not going for supplies. I mean, we could make contact here, or we're going to get the intel first. I think we're we're going to get the intel. Uh, let's do the contact first, because that means we're also getting more income. I'm not sure it will do you any good. It's certainly not going to scare me off. Attempting to establish. Objective added. The Advent offices have clearly been good. So that's the subordinates to receive new orders. Infirm uh, the infirmary that is available. I like it. So many the Advent Odysseys. I must have 
having successfully completed the operation necessary to I mean we could go for the infirmary that's an option but I really would like to get sparks sooner than later so proving grounds after the autopsy will be the way to go Fantastic. We even got a promotion out of it. So what do we want to do? Improved PCS wouldn't be too bad. Dodge plus 8 is great as well. And it increases the income permanently. So might as well use Toxic here. Who gets the dodge plus eight? It would be Zirkim, but uh, quick feed, but he's not available at this point. So scratch that plan. Who could get the health? Also, no one of the primary team. So might as well go for. Shall we locate the faction? Hmm. We don't really need a fac uh, that faction hero. We're not high enough on rank in order to do that. How long would it take us? Eight more days. One more day until Sandman is back, and Sandman at least could get the plus one hit point, so I suppose we're going to wait just a tiny bit longer. New objective added. I've updated our latest operational objectives, Commander. Good, finally. Shall we go for magnetic weapons or do a couple of breakdowns first? I think we're starting with magnetic weapons because we could use that extra damage right now. So yeah, proving grounds is the right way to go. Power relaying into proving grounds. And I really want a spark, so let's speed up the production here. Yet again, we could use more engineers. Currently, we're doing nothing here. Just double checking. All right, the Reaper is ready. So that would be a superior PCS and a little bit extra health, which is well taken or superior weapon upgrade. I think we're taking the superior PCS. And let's we're risking that someone gets wounded. I need the intel. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. All right, nine days. We have no one else. Yeah, I think that is uh, okay. That's fine. Advent gets an extra alloy padding. That means we are going to see more and stronger Advent than before. And now we're at three facilities. One, two, three. So yeah, we got to deal with the facility sooner or later. And not very surprising. 
the aliens are making progress. Good. Well, that is that is going to be the chosen trying to ambush us, and we could get some extra income out of it. We're almost done making contact, which is great. Once that is done, I think we're still going to snatch the intel. And then eventually build a tower and go to here. Or directly build a tower and simply accept that the intel never was going to happen. Yeah, potentially building the tower and just going there. We have enough intel to do that. Yeah. Okay. Whom can we take on the next mission? We still got that promotion from the Covert Ops mission, which is fantastic. Getting that squad is up to Corporal makes a huge difference. As Corporals get quite a bit of uh, additional abilities and aim, plus a hit point in most of the cases. So... The A-Team is completely tired or on covert uh, ops missions, which means we got a specialist, sharpshooter, ranger, grenadier, and potentially another ranger. So <laughs> that's going to be an interesting mix. Oh boy, the next mission is going to suck. It's the B-Team once again. And we don't even have magnetic weapons. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. If you enjoy the content, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in our next run. Bye bye.